Welcome to basic English course. In this lecture, you will learn about the philosophy of verbs. First, let me write a verb here. Speak. Speak is an action. Divide it into two parts. Speaks. Speaks and speaking. The similar word, but you have added the letter S at the end and ing at the end. I will tell you how to use them in sentences. The second thing you have to write spoke. This is the second form spoke and the third one is spoken. Let's understand this speaking first whenever you see a first form with an ending ing use them in all continuous tenses. All continuous tenses means the action is continuous. You are doing something. You are in the middle of action. For example, right now I'm talking to you. I'm speaking to you. I'm writing on the board. Uh, you are watching my lecture. You are listening to me. So this continue. This shows continuity. Let me write an example. I am writing or I am speaking or I am cooking. This ing form you have to use in continuous tenses. Let me write another example. I have been learning English. I have been learning again continuous. You are doing something. I have been learning English for three years. So this is the duration. Whenever you use have been, you add duration at the end. For five years, I have been learning English. So that's clear. Okay, now come to this one, spoken, the third one, third form. Spoken is a third form and we use third form with all perfect tenses and with all passive voice structures. Let me write few examples. Perfect tenses, perfect tenses. For example, I have gone or I have spoken, I have cooked, I have learned, I have written. So written is third form. I have written this example. Written is completion. I had written, this is past. I will have written, this is future. I have written, I have just completed now. I had written, I had completed before that particular time. I will have completed that's future. So after understanding the perfect tenses, move to the passive voice structures. Passive voice structures. In passive voice, you use these structures with be and been family. Be and been family. Watch my lecture number 9 and 10 if you want to understand be and been. But I will write few examples here. I am told that means somebody tells me I was told I was told that means somebody told me so after was after am and even after I will be told so I will be told this is future I was told this is past I am told this is present English is spoken. Yeah, English is being spoken. Somebody is speaking English right now at the moment. English was being spoken. Somebody was speaking English at that particular moment. So we have used third form with the passive of present continuous tense and past continuous tense and with all simple tenses. Similarly, English, English has been spoken, like somebody has spoken English. English had been spoken, English will have been spoken. So you have learned the third form with all perfect tenses and with all passive voice structures. The, this form with all continuous tenses like I am going, I am speaking, I was speaking, I will be speaking, I have been speaking, I had been speaking, I will have been speaking. 
these six important structures. Now come to this one. This is the most interesting part. Most of the students write a story in past and for past, past simple is used excessively. For example, I met my friend. This is second form. I met my friend. This is second form. I spoke to him. Spoke is second form. So past simple, we use these forms, second forms in past simple tense. Now this first form is used in present simple tense and sometimes when we have the subject he, she, it, a singular noun phrase or a singular noun, we use s or es like he goes, she speaks, he learns, she talks, he comes. So we use s or es. Otherwise, we use simple forms. He, uh, uh, sorry, I come, you come, we come, I go, you go, we all go. So this is without s or es. So first form is used in present indefinite tense, present simple tense. Secondly, this first form is also used with all modal verbs. All modal verbs. In simple cases like I may go, I may speak, I may talk, I will talk, I shall talk, I would talk, I should talk, I must speak. So with uh, may, might, can, could, will, would, shall, should, must, we use this first form. How easy is that? Actually, we use without s or es. When you add model verb, you don't need to add s or es. Not he may speaks. That is incorrect. Incorrect. Wrong. So one more thing when you add be or been with model verbs, then you use this third form like English, English m might, might be spoken. So the thing I have mentioned here first for first for first form, you have to use without be when you say English might appear or English might impress you or English might put you in trouble. So put is first form, impress is first form. Uh, the, these are the first forms actually. But when we use third form, remember there would be been or be before that. Like English may have been. So these things are important to consider here. The next is we also use this first form after some prepositions like of, uh, sorry, uh, uh, yeah, after to, to speak, like she wants to speak, she wants to speak. So after to, we use first form without s or es or even without, without other forms. Like you can't say she wants to spoken or she wants to spoke or she wants to speaking. So that, that would be incorrect. She wants to speak. She decided to go. She is interested to learn. She is interested to learn English language. So after two, you used first form. So I have here, I have given you a road map. In coming lectures, when you learn the tenses step by step, in each lecture, I will teach you one sentence, all negative, positive, like interrogative questions, how to make WH questions. You will learn all these things and later we will also learn the application of those tenses in real context. Sometimes students learn the formula, st students learn the translation, but they are unable to use a particular tense in specific context. Like this, this part can be used to write a story in past and this also can help to, to write a story in past. Like I had loaded my gun. Yeah, or the hunter had loaded his gun before 
the tiger appeared there or came there so th these are the things i will uh, definitely teach you thank you very much for watching this lecture if you like it please subscribe my channel subscribe to my channel and uh, like the video take care bye